from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Aaron Reeves. Well, it's another gloomy day across the area, and it's pretty much going to stay that way for most of us. We've seen some fog this morning, not as much left of that as there was at this time yesterday, but still, if you're northeast of Tulsa, you're like, it's still here, Aaron. It's still here. Miami Grove, still around a mile visibility, so that has improved a bit. For uh, mall visibility in Coffeyville 5 in Tulsa, still pretty limited visibility down towards the Oklahoma City area. But all in all, things, uh, once again, just kind of gloomy, misty, foggy. There's some of that fog here and there, and we'll just continue to deal with that for a little while longer. Rain's not too prevalent in far southeast Oklahoma. A few showers not amounting to a whole lot. The rest of us, just lots of clouds. And once again, in some of those foggier areas, a little bit in the way of some drizzle. And those clouds here, you can see them on our map. They're going to hang with us all day. There's also a cold front draped through the area. It's just kind of stalled out near and south of that. We're in the 50s and 60s. Look at Idabel there at 73, uh, Ponca City at 38. So you can see that big, uh, big discrepancy in those temperatures. 47 currently in Tulsa and our rain chances over the next couple of days. Notice not much of one today. Just some drizzle this morning. Ramp up big time as we head into tomorrow evening, tomorrow night then drop off and then Friday night to Saturday they go back up. So pretty active weather pattern coming up. Some people could some be, see some pretty decent rains out of this as well. So for Wednesday morning, we're going to talk about rain starting to ramp up south of Tulsa by the time we get towards the afternoon hours. More widespread across much of the area, especially Tulsa to the south. And then it lifts further north as we head into Wednesday night and Thursday morning. So most locations should see some decent rain out of this on the order of maybe an inch plus, one to two inches, pretty widespread across the eastern half of the state and even a greater amounts possible as we get over here into these purple and red areas, maybe three inches or more locally. So we'll keep our fingers crossed for that. We definitely need the rain. Drought continues to be a problem. Uh, today, though, just a lot of clouds. Temperatures uh, 40s to 50s around Tulsa, 60s to the south, maybe even around 70 once again in a couple of locations. Rain starts to move in late tonight and early tomorrow morning. You can see that starting to stream in. Otherwise, 30s and 40s. And then this, uh, we head into Wednesday afternoon. Rain becomes more widespread. We could see a few rumbles of thunder, especially down to the south, not expecting much in the way of any severe weather. But generally, rain could be heavy at times, could see some thunder and some lightning as well. So be aware of that. Otherwise, temperatures in the 50s, 30s. Thursday morning, 40s and 50s, so a pretty steady thermometer. Rain still in the area, and then that rain tapers off Thursday afternoon. Temperatures really warm up. We'll be mostly into the 60s as we head on into Thursday. Right now, though, just cloudy, just gloomy. Looking at Jinx, 47, 9 mile per hour wind out of the west and northwest. Uh, humidity at 97%, so we are fairly saturated out there at this point in time. Once again, drought continues to be a problem. Here's a look at the regional drought monitor. You can see much of the state in exceptional to severe drought, so not a good deal. Lots of oranges, lots of reds. A little bit better in southeast Oklahoma, but still pretty dry. So hopefully at the end of this thing, maybe towards next week's uh, drought monitor update, we'll be able to notch uh, some of this color back a bit. We'll keep our fingers crossed for that, but a lot of time between now and then, so we'll see how it all plays out. Out. Then as we head further on in the forecast, there's even some strong storms possible. So we'll walk you through this here. Uh, today, around 50, warmer to the south, a little chillier to the north. 50s tomorrow, we'll see rain and a few rumbles of thunder, likely tomorrow into Thursday morning. A little bit of a break Friday, and then Friday night to Saturday, more rain and a few rumbles of thunder possible. Mainly just rain then, though. And then as we head towards Monday, uh, that system's a bit more interesting. It'll have a bit more dynamics the way things look right now. Temperatures should be pretty warm with it, so we could see some stronger storms, maybe even severe. A lot of time between now and then to really iron things out. We'll watch it until we get to that point. Just in the meantime, make sure to keep that rain gear handy and also keep the jacket handy. You'll need it at times, but temperatures generally around to above normal. Yeah, very gloomy, Aaron. Thank you very much.